Well, hello my fellow Lazy Night Monsters. I hope you are doing well because I am. And today I want to play a game called Don't, in parentheses, open your eyes. It is a free game available on Dutch.io and will be in the description. Let's go! I have um, absolutely no idea what it is about. I don't know how to play it really. Should we start? Okay, that room is a little freaky, but at the same time it reminds me a lot of my room. Okay, it's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Okay? I leave aside the book I'd rather be reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. Yeah, I relate to that. But not even the turning gears of my brain. I don't know if it's gear or gear. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's say it's gears. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight it's just oddly quiet. Quiet. Look at that. I have a mic. Too quiet. Oh, that wasn't quiet. I feel restless. This is me in a few hours. Because it, it is midnight, actually. My sight veers toward the hallway outside my door. Wait, there are hallways? Uh, hallway. <laughs> last last game we played, it was about hallways too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I know since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Absent mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. But tonight it's different. The whole way looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. Yeah, me neither. I, I don't want to click. <laughs> I click on the mouse to get the the script, the text, continue, but right now I am hesitant. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. But you shouldn't do that. It is not a good idea. I wonder if there are several endings in this game. Again, I have absolutely no idea. In my room, There's a bed in my room. There's a wardrobe in my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. I feel like there will be something that is not supposed to be here. Do you guys sleep with your um, bedroom door open or closed? My room 
is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Were someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I'd do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. What's that sound? Stop me. What's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It's... it must be my imagination. But it's getting closer, and closer, and closer, and closer. They are gone! Right! Amazing! Right! There's no way someone could be there. Hey. I did not like that! God, my skin is um I've got chills. I got chills. You don't know who it's called in English, but I've got chills really. Like, you can see it. Look at that. Look at my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I must say right now I am uncomfortable. Do I open my eyes? Yes or no? <sighs> Let's say yes. We'll try no later. Okay? Well, yes. I open my eyes. And it's gone. Okay, great. There's nothing here. So, do I open my eyes? Let's say no. I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. Look. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? I don't want to look. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? I look. I am not ignoring you, I just don't want to see you. Is that how it is? I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. I don't know if my face is ugly. That's kind of sad. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. Do you even have skin? That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. But I want so I might hide the moment you do. <laughs> well, <laughs> choose, choose something. We both have to commit in this relationship, okay? I open my eyes and you stay the fuck here. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. 
Okay. Don't need to shame my heels. <laughs> okay, alright. It's um schizophrenia the game. <laughs> they look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. I mean you can. I feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them. Yeah, no, don't do that. No. And tear them off. No. <laughs> don't need to do that. If I do, if you scream. Probably, will yes. I hear your voice. Probably, yes. <laughs> I am so It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. I mean, I like dark humors, but this one may be a little too... too much. Don't be scared. Hey, how do you think my eyes and our cases finally meet? What will you find? Answer me. Okay, they look... let's say broken. We'll take the, the first choice ever. Broken. Broken. That's sad. It looks like he's under maybe so. secret legs. I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me, searching for that one precious thing. Maybe you should close your eyes, dude. It's what drives me to look inside places. Such as this, but sometimes I strain so hard, little pieces seem to fall off my face. Totally normal. One after another, making a cracking sound as they go. A sound like... This. In my desperation, I always attempt to piece them back together. I kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself. So, you might want to go somewhere else? Do not make me lose more than I've already lost. I don't want to waste my time and search for more than I care for. Yet no one delivers. No one is listening. And so I weep invisible tears until I can feel the sorrow no more. Strain yourself so hard to see what you want to see that you end up blinding yourself to all. Have you? I don't recall. Sorry. I remain silent. These eyes. Are these my eyes? Well. Well, the game crashed. Awesome. Are these my eyes? A good answer. Yet there is only one way to know the truth. Open your eyes. Again. And it is gone. There's nothing there. So this is ending 2, I guess. Another game with multiple endings. I like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like that. Okay, let's tell him that 
Zul are oh no not this one no Okay so never mind I this time will not an excess stuff Why oh, did you do that to me? So this time I'm not opening my eyes. So you won't look at me. I'm cursed. <laughs> I'm fucking you. Even though your eyes are so pretty. Oh, you think so? Eight. Oh, you think so? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Behind their veil of glass? Behind their veil of glass? Surtout. I'm sorry, I don't remember the English word, so I'm gonna have to stick with that. <laughs> Round like pearls, shiny like jewels, so, so pretty. A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. The night is still and silent. I thought he was about to say people are good at clothing their eyes. <laughs> I was about to say like, yeah, duh. Do you know what a door is? Yeah, I think I do. Of course you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm smart like that. You have one right there at the verge of your little world. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. A bad smell. And sometimes, me, I can't open doors. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Both. And if it if it doesn't open, then it's closed. Should I turn the knob left or right? Dude, I'm not your mom. Should I try? Take it off its inches. No. Should I chip away at it, hoping it will fall apart? And what happens when it opens? Do I close it behind me? But it's gonna be hard if you destroyed the door. Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then. going on so many things that could go wrong whenever I stand in front of a closed door it paralyzes me I stare at it for a long time and think of my excuses because that's all they are what bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out me with the need to go in, so I search for a crevice or a window, anything that might be open, anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors, but as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. My internal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable, without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust. I feel at home there, but sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen, so I search hard. It's open for an entryway covered in darkness. This is getting long. I'm sorry. But right now, 
I say that I'm fucking bored. I want to click and continue to pass because you speak too fucking much. I'm so slowly like hurry up. I want to sleep. To be at the other end, awake. Yeah, but, like you are the one making me fall asleep. As if expecting me, but you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. Why is that? Are you afraid? Do I scare you? No, that can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You are the only one chatting here, buddy. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... Something moves over my bed sheets. Reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm, so very warm, because people are always warm. Hey, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. They they look tired. They look tired. Like me right now, probably. That maybe some of these fingers of mine have touched so many things. They are always stretching forwards, reaching out for it. The tip of my fingers dance over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. Be it the softness of the spring flowers or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish I'm sorry if sometimes I click when he's not done talking but he's taking so much time I hate it I, I have already read the full sentence and like half the time it took him to say it and it's annoying. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. See, it is not that hard. Hurry up. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep, as if they had a they mind, had of, their a mind own. of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. My eyes are rolling so hard. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin against skin is irresistible. They want more. I want to have it between them and around them. <clears throat> more and more and more. Sometimes, however, they can't reach as far as they'd like. That's when I lend a hand. I take over and stretch, 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 and they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time, but they grow just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and discard it, and forgotten. That's why they are tired, because they never stop seeking, and most likely, Never will. Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? I'm just going to uh, watch how many endings this game have. Just to see if I will be able mentally to try them all or not. Because if there are like 20 of them, uh, it is not going to happen. Okay? Only to learn that it's been long out of your grasp. Have you? These hands. These hands. Are these my hands? What are you going to do with this will the entirety of your body? For real? A good answer. There's only one way to know the truth. Dear God! Open your eyes. Yeah, 
Yes, I do open my eyes and he's gone. There is nothing here. Okay, a fucking sum. Oh dear. Who is gonna. Oh my god. There. Oh. God, you have to see this. Oh no, it's gonna be reversed, I think. There are. I hope you can see this. 27 different endings. So, um. I'm telling you right fucking now, this is not going to happen. <laughs> the game is could be. I like the ambience, okay? It's okay, really. But. Dude, that's too much! That's too much! I am sorry. I seriously, he's he gonna. Oh my god, there is too much endings. Well, I guess, like, I don't know, but I hope right now, right now, I hope that they count the, when we say, uh, yes, we do open our eyes, it counts have a different ending every time because technically the ending is pretty much the same you open your eyes, you click yes, you open your eyes and it disappears and uh, there is nothing here so I hope it's that but really I don't know we were going to try to never close our eyes. No, I mean, no, I'll never open our eyes. They are going to stay closed. And uh, then I guess we will stop because this game is infuriating me, okay? Oh my god. There is these ones like they look like this like this or like this and i don't know what oh god there is definitely too much it is too slow really i i like i really like the fact that the monster speaks itself so i don't have to to read out loud and fuck up everything but he whispers too slowly and he speaks a lot and I have ADHD so I, I can listen to a thing whisper slowly for what feels like 10 minutes so runs over <laughs> Let's go again and uh, let's not open your eyes. I mean my eyes. So you wanna look at me? <sighs> Guess what? So you won't look at me, even though my hands same as yours. They are not the same. They are definitely not the same. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. Sorry about that. No. I can feel it in my skin. Do you have skin? Are you sure? Oh. Can you hear it? My skin is pulsating. It's not normal, dude. It has been long since this happened. Is he having a direction? It it kind of sounds like uh, he's having an erection right now. I, I am not. 
okay with this? It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Yes. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will. Stop bothering me. Or give you Red Bull. So you speed up a little. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me, and we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel. Yeah, well, it doesn't make me feel me. Um, no, I, I am not feeling it. Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good. With words, there was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. Yeah, well, I hate that person right now. They were not good at it either. Yeah, I can tell. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It's weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure, I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? It's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized. But me. But I will. Soon. Once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. It's funny, it's kind of funny, because if it were to happen in real life, we'll... We? Obviously, I sleep without my glasses, so... If it were to happen to me, I could literally open my eyes and not see shit. I see everything I see without my glasses is a blurry mess, so I would see a darkness. And that's all. <laughs> I will not see you. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. And you inspect every crevice of mine. No, I don't want that. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. I can agree to uh, watch you and describe you at most, if you want, but... 
I really don't want to inspect every crevices of your body. To let me hear what I am and to maybe even give me a name. It makes me feel... I'm sorry, this was a real life yawn. I am really tired IRL right now. I can't believe that. It's making me want to sleep in a real world. That's that's something. But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. Dude! It looks like you have two buttholes instead of eyes. Uh, I'm sorry, look at that. Two big hairy buttholes. Hey, what does my expression look like? Shitty. When that veil of uncertainty finally disappears, what will we convey to each other? Answer me. What do they expression look like? I don't know, because I said that I would um, shoot the first option every time. I'm committed, you know what? I'm, I'm committed. Oh, I'll cheerful. That. Smile. This is not creepy at all. That may be so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember where it all began. But who's to say it had a beginning? Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. Really, without the hairy buttholes here, he could be okay with like normal eyes and not spider legs um, as hands. Could be okay. He looks like an SCP. It really looks like an SCP. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. I rarely travel during the daytime. When the fear of being seen isn't there, so I must have believed that was the case. Also, go walk somewhere else. But it's strange. Get the fuck out of my bedroom. Since the place I was walking through was a city, one full of people, I couldn't see them. But I knew they were there, hiding in the shadows, with their backs against the dirt. Completely motionless, living in wait of their deaths. And what's more, none dared to look at me. Did they even know I was there? Maybe they did not care. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me. I want to... Uh, put his speed in his speed dog two times faster right now. Living in fear. That would what help others me might think so much to stay focused. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory. No experience afterwards that made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. But tonight, Good. I'm not joyful. 
I wasn't as tired when I started to play this game like 40 minutes ago <laughs> and I'm fully cheering up because I am tired right now I'm really like this close to play a game on my phone at the same time so if my expression is truly one of cheer I swear this I, I hate this I hate that right now then I must be lying through my smiling teeth hey have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face when in reality you're feeling anything but have you I remain silent this expression is this my expression <sighs> let's say yes I see Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. You helped me too because I think I will go to sleep after that. I swear I'm going to sleep and I will sleep well. These are my hands and this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. Hurry up. Hurry up. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way. Do so, please. I'm open. I open my eyes. I want to say yes to end this. But I kind of want to say no. This is, I don't know what I'm, what's gonna happen. I'll say I, I want to say yes. Of course, we're gonna load uh, the game again. Guess what? I open my eyes. He's gone again. Bro, are you for real? Dude! The fuck is wrong with you? No. I see. I understand. No. It's fine. You have still helped me by answering my questions. No one has done that for me before. So I have no right to ask for anything else. Yes, definitely, because you are a fucking asshole right now. You know what? Your eyes suit you really well. I'm getting so upset. <laughs> I can't believe it. No, that is a lie. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. What? Are you fucking serious? Shut up. Not even once. I answered your stupid question. And I fucking listened to you. Not even once, not even once, not even once, yeah, not did. even once. You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. Feigning I wish ignorance I and not moving an inch. I wish I would be asleep. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. <sighs> you haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can, and I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. We are the same. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. 
so what? So fucking what? You wanna fight? I'm so upset at you right now. I'm I'm gonna fight you, bitch. But you made a mistake. Okay, let's take this outside. I am I know ready. You're lying. Because every answer you've given me so far has been wrong. I am not what you said. These eyes, these hands, this expression. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. Awesome. But I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. I didn't want to be judged. You should have thought about it beforehand. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. Well, right now you're perceived as a bad hole and an annoyance. I hope it's okay with you. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. You said so, remember? No, I did not say so, no. That in this room, you know how everything looks. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to, you have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh dear God, open your eyes. Yes, we get it. Do I open my eyes? You guys? Do I? Make me, bitch. You had your chance. It's not up to you. Anymore. You won't open your eyes. I will. Something curls around my head. The pressure around my skull is unbearable. I hear something shudder. are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? A screamer, I guess? I want to answer, but they've grabbed onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Cue the screamer. Close my eyes. That won't do. Open your eyes. <laughs> it kind of sounded like someone pissing or a zipper. <laughs> Dead? Eh? Are you dead? Then, this is very well. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Maybe he shouldn't disappear as soon as I open my eyes. Maybe, um, I think uh, the fact that you disappear as soon as I opened my eyes, that seems to be the problem. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. There's something in my end.
is what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. I guess this is one end. I'm curious about what if uh, we do open our eyes. So yes, I'm a I'm opening my eyes. You had your chance. It's not up to you. You won't open your eye. I will. But I said yes. Okay, so if you say yes at this point, it doesn't matter. So that that's something. I don't want to say that's great because that's not, but that is something. Well, uh, my fellow lazy nut monsters. I have to say, this is going to be all for today. I want you to not like this video, not subscribe to me, and not share this video.